All right, take a look. Can you tell the difference between these images? One is hemp, the other is weed, and it's causing a big headache. Thanks for joining us. Now that problem, basically because law enforcement can't tell the difference. And they're going to need to as hemp farming grows in the state. News Force Carly Gordon joins us with why police say that's a problem. Tom Tracy, we're at Elevated Smoke Shop where you can see they have a ton of hemp products and they're perfectly legal across the state of Tennessee. What is not legal is marijuana. Police say if they can't tell the difference, they can't enforce the laws. Tonight, they're calling for change. Teachers confiscated this baggie from a student at Giles County High School. They thought it was pot. Turns out it's hemp. They handed it over to police who also have no way to tell the difference. It's been a battle for law enforcement. Sheriff Kyle Helton points out the two plants look and smell the same. Even well-trained canine officers can't tell the two apart. So if our guys stop, they say, well, I've got hemp. It's, it's hard to determine what it is. Even when people test positive after, let's say, a crash, police can't tell whether they've used marijuana or hemp, since legally hemp can have THC levels of up to 0.3%. If you've been taking the hemp pills or maybe the oils, and you have levels of THC come back in your system, as administrator, what are we going to do? Tonight, officers across the state are calling for new laws. They want age limits on who can buy hemp. They want definitive punishments for those caught with hemp with higher than legal THC levels. They say it's a matter of public safety. If they're selling your child a joint and the THC level is supposed to be under three, but we don't know, what if that THC level is a 10? They could be driving just or, or they could have a, a reaction to it. The TBI is working to purchase a machine that would allow them to test a substance and determine its THC level. That machine, though, costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, and officers say one machine to cover all of Tennessee's 95 counties could mean a serious backlog in cases. 